Uncle Stevie Sticks. Yeah! How you going? Good looking crowd tonight, Anne. I'm digging what you're wearing. Brilliant. Winkies. Winkies. No, you may have noticed something we share in common, actually. I've got a fringe. Um, or bangs, whatever you want to call them. But it's like le- long enough to say, bit alternative, probably opinionated, but not short enough to say, I don't eat meat and I'm into pussy. You know? <laughs> not at that length. <laughs> no, I'm from Geelong, um, so I can probably hook you up with some ice. <laughs> and I'm about three quarter bogan. That's how we roll. No, I'll tell you a little bit about myself, because I do like that topic. Um, Easter is my favourite holiday. Uh, Dead Jesus is my favourite of all the Jesuses. (laughs) He brings the eggs. (laughs) The chocolate eggs. Delicious. No, and I love, like, as soon as they come out in January, that's when I start. Because they're way more delicious when they're sacrilegious. (laughs) Like, oh. And I feel like it's a challenge, too, like to eat as many as humanly possible before Easter Sunday, just in case the cunt gets up and wants them back. <laughs> Not trusting him. No. I feel like we've bonded now, so I could tell you a little something. I woke up really distressed the other day. I woke up and I was like... Who's the father of that? I was like, are you, sir? Are you the... No. What's happening there is I don't want to pay child support. That's what happened right there. No. I do know who the father of that is. That would be Mr. McNugget. (laughs) Love a nugget. (laughs) No, I I do. I use this little rockin' figure to get me stuff. (laughs) I just um, pat my stomach and stare out old people on the train (laughs) till they give me their seats. I figure you're pretty old. That's not the thing that's going to kill you. (laughs) Stand up for a bit, you know? (laughs) I I wrote that joke because an old lady actually did come up, pat me on the stomach and give me her seat on the train. (laughs) I was like, oh, I don't have the self-esteem for this. (laughs) And I'm like too much of a people pleaser to correct her. So I just sat down and played it out. Like I was like... <laughs> and she was like, Are you excited? Is this your first? And I was like, Oh, yeah, no, I've got three others, but fucking government got them. <laughs> you old lady. <laughs> now I know, because of all the stuff I've just said, you're all going to be amazed to know that I'm still single. <laughs> And it could be because of my terrible taste in men or that I still take the word blowjob quite literally. (laughs) I'm like... This takes ages. (laughs) No, I like... I try. I do try. I go on dates and things. Like, I try. And I like to, like, play with the gender roles, be a bit different. Like, to go and buy the guy a drink first. And this makes some men quite uncomfortable. And I'm like, no, 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 sir, don't be uncomfortable. I've bought you the drinks and now you have me the (laughs) blowjob. And ladies, just between us, if he flinches at that point, like he's like, he's shit in bed and you've wasted wasted eight bucks on a beer. (laughs) Fucking wasted. (laughs) No, I like, I like flipping the gender roles a little bit. I like thinking women can do everything men can do, you know? And um, I like to sometimes be the big spoon. I think that's not just for you men. Although I am a little big spoon, so I'm kind of more of a backpack. <laughs> like a bit of a shit spoon, you know. And I miss relationships. I miss the relationship snuggle, you know, when you get all in. But I'm not quite sure what to do with this hand when you're all in there. Like, I'm not willing to stretch that out. That is the start of a hand job I'm not going to commit to. Just not. Mm-mm. No. Quite lazy. <laughs> no, um, you know, I do. I miss relationships. I love flipping gender roles. I'm now going to just tell you about a lineup of failed relationships because that's fun, isn't it? <laughs> it's good for the self esteem, makes you guys feel better and go, fuck, I'm glad I'm not her. <laughs> Number one, I broke up with the nicest guy humanly possible. He used to check in on my feelings all the time like all the time and I'm like the final straw was when he checked in on how I felt about the relationship he's like how do you feel about this relationship and I was like oh I 
feel like if I was the one that was supposed to have the boner, I probably wouldn't. <laughs> I just couldn't get it up for this relationship, you know. <laughs> and the thing is, he wasn't actually that offended that I dissed the relationship. He was offended that I said the word boner. Because <laughs> he wasn't like most guys that are like pretty proud of the boner. You know, when they like, look what I did with my blood flow. It's all there. <laughs> you know, <laughs> how they do it. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> no, he was like, oh, that is nasty and phallic. Mm-mm. He is looking at you with his one eye again, isn't he? I'll cover it up. I might even fold it in half and pop it away. <laughs> no, so unfortunately he had to go. Number two. <laughs> was quite a charming fellow. He was very attentive, you know, very attentive. Went there a lot, actually. But did get quite regular nosebleeds when he did it. (laughs) And I know what you've all thought. You've all gone, nosebleeds, vagina area, period joke. Not. Actually, nosebleeds. Quite literally, nosebleeds. And he would just blame my vagina as the cause of his nosebleeds. (laughs) Like, he'd come up and be like, oh, it's just that I get really regular nosebleeds in high humidity. (laughs) Dude, I did not just send you to Singapore. (laughs) Like, and seriously, just fucking whack on a t-shirt and shorts and commit. Need to hear about it. Number three, I'm going to leave you on number three. Um, Number three was a terrible choice. Uh, I really just dated him because he had great man arms and he used to pick me up a lot. <laughs> and I know, terrible, but he picked me up once and put me on a bench and I was like, whoo, got so wet I almost slipped right off the other side. <laughs> I was like, whoo, then I was like, sorry, man, snail trail. <laughs> Thank you guys, you've been great. Stevie Sticks, ladies and gentlemen. Thank <laughs> you.